This is a spare body I had sitting around. It was left over from when I transferred the Apache into a new tub and top that I had found. I decided um, that I would use this to build a tank. I put a four chain frame inside the tub and then figured out where I'd put my seat on top of that frame. With the seat in place I figured out where the four posts would be that would support the bulk of the weight and then I set up a wooden frame that went all the way around the tub and rests on top of the seam that separates the top and bottom halves. Then I started adding the superstructure. After the frame was done I started adding the armor. The side armor, the front armor, is about a quarter of an inch thick and the plywood on top is about three quarters of an inch thick along with the plywood used in the turret ceiling. Fabricating the turret ring was probably the most challenging part of the project. Before I could cut out the turret ring and the hole on top of the deck I had to route a couple grooves. Uh, one was a flat stock groove, uh, which you can see here, and then another groove would be big enough to hold number 40 chain. It was critical that these two grooves would line up with one another as the turret ring sat over the hull deck. Now the rail that was inserted into the turret ring would ride over the roller chain which was inserted into the hull deck acting as a huge bearing. I had to dremel the inboard side of each link in order to get the chain to curve this way. I can't explain why the audio and the video in this clip are out of sync. Sorry. I used some flat stock and some brackets to hold the turret to the top of the tank. The turret is actually a fire pit that I found on Amazon. It has a 36 inch diameter and is 18 inches tall and is plenty of room inside it to, uh, to sit comfortably. It weighs about 70 pounds and it's the only actual armored part of the tank. Two-thirds of the turret roof is part of the hatch. The hatch also has two fans bringing in fresh air, uh, LED lighting for the interior, and uh, a carbon monoxide detector. Power is provided by a 16-horse Briggs & Stratton Vanguard. The engine and transmission are set up like uh, the Tomahawk configuration. I found this control panel on eBay and it's out of an actual armored personnel carrier. Yeah, I know it's a sin to paint these things, but I couldn't find a green body. I used the Krylon uh, paint that is supposed to bond to plastic.